But, um, hello guys, I'm the Film Attackers, and today is a nice rant video, and, and for once, it's not about one race movie sucks. It's actually about a show that I really love and care about, and it's going down a fucking tube. It's Game of Thrones. Now, I've already expressed my love for Game of Thrones on this channel when I did my Game of Thrones unboxing, the seasons 1 through 7 unboxing. I fucking love Game of Thrones. I absolutely love it with every ounce of my being. I think it's a great, phenomenal show. You know, some of the best acting I've ever seen. It's like movie quality that's in a TV show. It's right up there with Breaking Bad. And I've always respected D&D for bringing this show to life like they did, you know. Taking the books and bringing the show right there. It was, it was, it was amazing what they did. But... I kind of lost respect for them with the 8th season of Game of Thrones. Now, the first two episodes of Game of Thrones were good. I, I liked them. They were awesome. I enjoyed them. I really do think, you know, it feels like they took more care in the first two episodes. But then we get to the 3rd, 4th, and 5th episode, which I'll get into in a bit. But first, I want to explain what, what my history is with Game of Thrones. So I've been in Game of Thrones since 2015. I've I have I didn't get into it in 2011 because at the time I didn't have HBO. I didn't have the money for HBO. So you know when my family finally got HBO in 2015, when I was still living with them. Um, I got a chance to watch it. Fell in love instantly. First season, some of the best television I've ever seen. It just kept getting better and better and better and better. Hell, I'm actually such a big fan. I'm actually getting the House Stark Wolf. Um. No, banner, the house symbol, on the top of my right hand. That's how much I love the show. So, I also have t-shirts, all the seasons on Blu-ray. I have pop vinyls. I have action figures, the Monopoly game for Game of Thrones. I have that. I have shot glasses, you know, mugs. I have, you know, t-shirts, you know, hats. I have pajamas, like the t-shirt the and the pajama bottoms. I have that. I have a lot of shit for Game of Thrones. I have posters. I love Game of Thrones. So when I heard they're doing their final season, it was really bittersweet. I'm like, you know, it had to end sooner or later, but I just don't want it to end. It was such it's such a great show. Now I kind of want it to fucking end. Or at least for them to redo it, because D&D &D took the lazy way out. So here's the story on this. When they were getting ready to do the new season, HBO was like, listen... We'll pay you. I don't know how much they said they were going to pay him, but we paid to do two more seasons of Game of Thrones. They turned it down. They're like, okay. HBO said, okay. How about for the eighth season, you do a ten episode season? They said no. Which is really shocking if you think about it. Why do that? Why? I mean, HBO was going to pay you a shit ton of money, probably a shit ton of money, they make two more seasons of Game of Thrones, so they probably would have paid you a lot more to do ten episodes. But D and D turned it down, and I was thinking, okay, they may they may have I know a clever way to end it in such a short amount of time. Because to me, I think it should have been a ten episode season, ten episode season, or they should have just did two more fucking episodes uh, seasons, which is what they should have done. Was took HBO's money and did two more seasons of the show, end it in two seasons. You would have had you know a lot of time to. Finish out the characters' storylines, you know, uh, finish them out, you know, kill them off, save them, do whatever you want to do. But no, they um, took they took the six episode thing. They want to do six episodes, which I was disappointed by, but I'm like, fine, you know, they, they probably made some great fucking episodes to be you know, six episodes long. Now, when I first watched season eight, the first two episodes were good, I gotta say. They're good. I enjoyed them. Then the third episode came on, and I'm like, you know, it's not as good as episode one and two, but it, it's 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 not garbage, garbage. It's bad, but it's not garbage, garbage. Then there was episode four, got worse. Episode five got worse. And you know, I was I watched the interviews with the actors before the season aired, and they they seen they they were like they said they was disappointed with the season. I'm like, oh boy, this could be bad. But, you know, it, it may, I thought maybe they didn't like how their you know, character's story may have ended or how their characters turned out. You know, something like that. I didn't think it was actually going to be with the writing. D&D &D was lazy with this writing. Like, I saw a comment on YouTube that said the best. Visuals, 10 out of 10. 
acting, 10 out of 10. The action, they said 8, I'd give that a 9 out of 10. Writing, 1 out of 10. And that's how I want to describe it. The writing is shit in Season 8 of Game of Thrones. The excellent writing from, like, the past 7 seasons are now fucking gone. They are nowhere to be seen. It's just lazy writing one episode after the fucking other. And it's just meshed, just softly put in with the stunning, the stunning cinematography, the, the outstanding acting from all the actors, giving their best performance for this last season. You know, and with these epic action scenes and all that, they really just, just softly put in their lazy fucking writing into it. And it really hurts it. And I'm watching it, I'm like, after I saw that one bad episode, I'm like, okay, you know, after I saw the third episode, I'm like, okay, you know what, there's been episodes that, you know, were decent, it was like a four out of five star episode, that was more like a three, but it's usually, you know, there's only like one or two bad episodes, like, in a, in a season, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's usually one episode in a season that's pretty bad, you know, I'm, it's rare for Game of Thrones, but, now, I've come across some episodes of Game of Thrones that I wasn't particularly fond of, but I still really fucking enjoy. You know, it was like a 4 out of 5, or 4.5 out of 5. And that's the lowest rating I ever gave a Game of Thrones episode on Stardust. It was like a 4 out of 5 or a 4.5 out of 5. I broke that with the new season, giving the third episode 3 stars, the, the fourth episode 2 stars, and the fifth episode 2 stars. And the only reason why I gave it two stars and three stars is because of the visuals and the acting and the action was so good. But the actors are trying their best with the shit D&D gave them. And it's it's so depressing seeing Game of Thrones end like this. You know, coming from a huge Game of Thrones fans like me, it's so depressing to see them end it like this. It's like they want to rush it out to hurry up to get to Star Wars. That's all they're doing. They could have did two more seasons, two more great seasons. They could have did two more great seasons. They turned it down. They could have made a shit ton of money off that. They turned it down to do six fucking episodes. They could have did a ten episode season. And it would have been be It would have been a little better. Not much better, but a little better. They could have fleshed out the characters more and finished up the storylines more. But no, they wanted six fucking episodes. And there's actually a petition going around to redo the eighth season. And you know what? I actually, I'm actually going to sign it. After I make this video, I'm going to fucking sign it. Because I think D&D, you know, they need to make a great season, finale, like a great final season for one of the best shows on television. But for right now, season 8, I'm sorely disappointed by it and I'm, and I'm very pissed at. Because in this season, they forgot all the character arcs they created, all the stories they've done. And they completely re hit the reset button on like 90% of the fucking characters. Only once they didn't hit the reset button on, it's like Tyron and and fucking you know Jon Snow and all that. They they, they they hit the reset button on everyone else. It's like they completely forgot their fucking arcs. Trust me, guys. If you're a huge Game of Thrones fan, I'm pretty sure you already watched the eighth season. I'm so sorry you did. But anyone who's just getting in, in getting into Game of Thrones, just stick with the seven seasons. If you really want to watch the eighth season, by all means, go ahead. You're going to be sorely disappointed because it's not hard with the fantastic past seven seasons. I'm the Film Attackers with this rant video, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.